everybody for this next interview we got francisco phoenix relative of the brand here and you know what i'm saying it's so many words we could use to describe them but uh <laughs> you know i i feel like if you already know if you know who we are then you should know who this man is because if you've been to an iron root show i'm pretty sure he's hosted it in this last five six year span so what up man how you doing What's going on with you, Don? How you feeling, brother? Hey, man, I'm living the dream, bro. Glad to be alive. Glad to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Just striving, pushing for another day, you know? Yeah, man. That's good to hear, bro. Like, yeah, it's good talking to you, man. Good seeing you again, everything. I'm glad everything's going good, bro. Absolutely, man. Just trying to stay yeah. focused, man. You looking good. Got the, you know, <laughs> I ain't seen you in a minute without the dreads. I'm still getting I used know, to man, that. yeah. I'm like, for everybody who do remember me uh, hosting the events, yeah, I had locks at the time, you know what I mean? So it's yes, like, sir. But I see, the, I see not much has changed. I know locations changed, but not much has changed. I see the background with the roof for each other. Got the artwork, got the local art still going. So that's that's yeah, dope, man. Yeah. How's, how's the pod been going? Man, the pod's been going good. You know, it was a little bit of a slow start, you know, with, uh, you know, COVID happening, like this lockdown. So uh, we moved, you know what I mean, probably about like five months ago and it just, it was, it was slow, but we got it started and, you know, started uh, our network uh, up out here in Los Angeles and it's starting to go pretty smoothly now. So, yeah, we, we on a roll and, yeah, we need y'all to vibe with us, you know. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. Well, we're going to be looking forward to that content, you know what I'm saying? And obviously we're going to continue to share and push it and stuff like that. But, yeah, uh, yeah man, we've we've reached love 2021. It's been it's been a nice little journey, yeah. man. We've been doing this thing since 2015. So it's yeah. it's a blessing to kind of be in this position, you know what I'm saying, to be doing annual things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, though it's, mm -hmm. a, it's another, you know, COVID uh, year in a sense, like, we still got to keep that tradition alive and keep it going. Uh, so I did want to throw you a question, man. Do you remember the first love event that you attended or Ooh. like been to either? Yeah, as... man. It was actually it was before I was hosting the uh, love events, man. It was uh, I don't, I don't remember the year, probably like twenty sixteen. Uh, okay. You know where it was at? It was at uh, it was on. I can't. I'm, let me think. It was on Third Avenue and oh, so like the Newton. The Newton, there you okay, go. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That was 2016 for sure. Yeah, man, for sure. So it was like was at the time, yeah, yeah. It was stupid packed, but I would like this was my first love event. You know what I mean? So it was like you know I heard the Iron Root name and like I kind of knew what you guys was about, but like I've never attended a, an event at the moment. And so I remember, yeah, you gave me an invite and everything to come perform, and I just didn't know what to expect, but. I was not looking my best that day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. So it was like, I came up, I had like a little garbage ass little, uh, you know, crew neck on, some sweats, you know what I'm saying? Red just shoes. Pulled up comfy, shit, like, you know, just comfy. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was like one of them, like, come as you are, like, moments right, for me. For like, sure. you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, everybody was looking good. It was a great event. Like, everybody was still cool. Like, you know what I mean? It was, right, right. It was just an amazing time. Like, you know, but I definitely felt very underdressed, uh, <laughs> you know, at that first event. So, yeah, man, those but, are the yeah, times, bro. Dressing up, looking good. Man, that's why I'm like, I'm. I made sure that after that every Iron Root event, I'm like, okay, I gotta come. Like, it's right. Game, but, at least put a little attention sure. on that. Yeah, no. Nah, but yeah. I, even at that time, man, I just appreciate you pulling up because, like, like I was telling you originally, man, your name had like preceded like you by far because like I had knew for sure about like what you had going on uh in Tempe chop shop like that whole community yeah. and that environment that you put together so it was just yeah. like I didn't you know obviously we have a dress code but it's just like to me like just seeing certain individuals you know in the community pull up like that's more important for me than like what you look like obviously you feel how you feel being in the room man. that's <laughs> nah, my thing but like for us it was yeah. just dope like it was like, all right for sure somebody out here that's making moves giving us a look like that's all we can appreciate oh yeah man like i was just you know uh i was just uh appreciative of the you know opportunity you know what i'm saying Absolutely. like definitely like i gained so many different relationships just from like being able to come out that one night you know what i'm saying so yeah yes, appreciate sir. it again you know so man? So also for the uh, for the love experience that we have this year, we we're doing like the love poetry contest, love a little, um, right. where pretty much people can just submit a poem, uh, reading or performing like their favorite poem. It got to be original content. Um, 
I was gonna get from you if you have any suggestions, like anything that you think would be some good topics for people to like vent about. Cause you know, love stands for let us vent. And mm -hmm. the, the love of little poetry contest is, you know, centered around that theme. Um, so if you have right. any advice to give some of the poets, even if they're not poets and they're just like artists that just want to submit something because it's a cash prize, you know, so uh, it's open. You don't have to be a poet per se to like submit. But if you had any topics right. that you would throw out there, that would be some good topics to vent about. Man, I, I, I'm not sure about the topics at the moment, but what I would love to like kind of hear, like, you know, major more of this uh, this time around is like um, different things that have like to do with love outside of a relationship like a uh a physical relationship with between like you know uh, you know male female male male female whatever it is but like i would love to hear some like type of abstract poetry like you know what i'm saying like talking about you know uh drinking like you know what i'm saying soda like on a right. sunday like you know what i'm saying like you know something that's kind of yeah. clever like instead of just like you know the uh, you know boy gets dumped um, right yeah something a little more lighter or, you know what i'm saying it's like you know what i'm saying yeah like you know girl like you know can't stand man type whatever you know like right yeah you know, just, we know the classics man where yeah you just, yeah you set them up proper and then you just not right right off, right bro. right i mean not. you know it'd be some dope poetry like don't yeah, get me wrong sure. like you know what i'm saying but like I, I would just love to hear like a different type of or a more um yeah you know thought out like subject like matter you know what i'm saying right yeah so, get creative with it i know you know sometimes right. you could talk about love l-o-v-e in ways that mm. don't necessarily reflect relationships it could be your exactly. love for you know yourself in a way um your love for certain things tasks you know if you love to hike if you love you know animals or pets or you know what i'm saying right, just really right. just really you know go at life outside of like you know a person in your experience with that person you know what i'm saying right uh that's right. not yourself so nah that's definitely some def that's definitely some good advice um yeah. or you know something to throw out there because you know honestly you know it's just info for people to kind of look at it and yeah. like go at it because this year man we're trying to do voting online on the website so we're gonna take all the videos Ooh. put them on a site let people watch them and like you know yeah. vote that way so just really giving okay. people some insight on ways to like go about their submissions um you know yeah. uh so yeah no that's some good stuff uh, i want to transition now they, now they can't say francisco playing favoritism like you know what i'm saying to, oh, like, right you know, dom and francisco <laughs> playing favoritism like to this artist nah right, you know, right. Leave, that, leave that just for the people you know right yeah yeah it ain't up to us you know i'm gonna vote yeah. I got one vote. You got one <laughs> right. Vote. I got one, I got one vote. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Um, but yeah, man, any uh, R&B songs in 2020 that, uh, you know, uh, popped Ooh. out to you that you enjoyed local, uh, you know, top 40 popular, it don't matter anything that you, you um, heard that you really enjoyed. In 2020, like, you know, uh, let me see here. It, it's hard to like recall like 2020 and 2021. Like even though you know the year just started, like there's a right. lot that happened now. Like uh, I think Jasmine Sullivan just released like her album right in yeah. 2021, but like I would still like call that 2020. Tales. Yeah, and that right there, I feel like it's killing. Like you know, as far as like you know, popular like artists and everything. Right. That yeah. right there is just like I'm like God damn, like you know so. Right, yeah. Um, That's yeah, that one has like, a pretty interesting take too. I I've listened to it at least once all the way through. I plan on like yeah. revisiting, but uh no, nah, I definitely like that she's back cuz like, you know, not too long ago I was working with this artist Chris uh Chris Joseph and mm -hmm. he was like originally telling me like, "Yo, man, type of beats I like are like some Jasmine Sullivan type beats and da da da." da. And okay. I had to just go and actually do homework cuz I'm like, "Damn, yeah, man, yeah, I, yeah. I can't just think off the top of my head like, you know, <laughs> Besides like lions, tigers, bears, like Busta Winter, right, right. Car, like I, I couldn't think of her discography like off the top. So you know, and then the fact that soon after that she ended up like putting out a project. It was, it was pretty dope. Dope to see her back, uh, dropping music. Man, and like fire too. Like you know, what yes, saying? Like, that's that's so dope. Yeah. Yes, sir. So well, um, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah. And I'll say one for me was uh, it was last year. I'm I'm hoping it was last year. I might have to double check, but uh. It was a uh, sir, Inglewood sir, uh, who drop uh, chasing summers, man. Like, even if it was that late 2019 or whenever, bro, I'd just been listening to it all 2020, bro. That man, was... dog, that shit is cold too. Yeah, yes, that's sir. another one that is just like it's been playing. Or that shit's been playing like damn near all year for me too. Like, you know what right, I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I, that that video he did uh, to like the John Redcorn one, the animated 
went off the the, the king of the hill uh yeah. playoff up. Yes, oh bro that was tough i'm like brilliant bro that's right. that's brilliance right there man like, right 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 yeah they yeah they got a good camp right there man like yo they right. doing it you know just saying? keeping yeah. the creative alive keeping the creative alive yeah. so that's dope that's dope yeah i just want to you know highlight a couple of r&b tracks because you know typically yeah during the love experience we'll have some fire r&b songs going zill yeah. or dj damo somebody will have those cooking up you know what i'm saying okay typically, what, what about what about the the track you and um you and lee water did though Oh, you know suede, yeah, man. Man, suede, what's good? Yes, I'm sir. still waiting on the video for that. Bro. Yeah, like, no, nah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's done, man. It's it's on the way. I'm hoping that we can release it like now. You know what I'm saying? So, man, um, that's oh, bro. Yes, like, sir, I ain't yeah. gonna lie. That was like probably one of my favorite songs. Like, you know what I mean? Coming out uh, like that year. Like that was like one of oh, my man. favorite songs. Like, nah, period. I appreciate that, bro. That was yeah. it. That was definitely experiment. Like. Um, and, and it was just more so just having fun with like the suede, you know, the idea of suede and that whole topic and stuff. And anytime yeah. I collab with Lee is dope, you know, cause his ideas constantly flow. So he was yeah. able to just take the concept and pick it up and, you know, we were able to roll that out, but also just the video, man, the video was, uh, it was fun to do. Uh, got my lady so in sorry. there. So I'm looking forward to like, you know, rolling uh -huh. that out because I ain't dropped yeah. no video before. So this like, you know, this is my introduction to like that whole music yeah, yeah, video yeah. scene. Um, I work with the homie Jazz Gold, uh, who shot some video okay. work for like Zill and he does a lot of photography work and other, you know, uh, mm -hmm. visual work in the city. Some stuff for Nine Mate right. too. Uh, she's yeah, been yeah. producing uh, like some uh, playlists for her brand, Life of a Young Realist. Uh, she okay. some dance videos, so he's been doing like a lot of the video work behind uh, that stuff. So. Okay, yeah, yeah, those those were some hard videos there. You know what I mean? Like nine made uh, put out them dance videos. Yeah, yeah, some of them was yeah. cold. Yeah, so yes, sir. Yeah, hell yeah, so, I'm, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited to grow and build on that. Um, but yeah, man, what about uh for the for the pod, man? Anything coming up? Anything uh you know that we can continue to look out for? It don't got to be any specific episodes, but like you yeah. know, any info um, we the folks. Yeah, uh, we we looking to you know add different content like you know what I mean uh, to the podcast, different segments and everything. Uh, we are, of course are going to continue to have the uh, guest on, and right now, like because you know I, we started off as a music playlist podcast, you know. Yeah. So uh, I know a lot of people have been kind of on my head like, "Yo, man, I've been sending you music, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't heard it yet." But we're kind of separating that into two different segments now. So it's like, gotcha. I'm gonna have my guest on just literally, I'm gonna allow them to like, you know, speak more instead of having like the music going. And right. then on a different segment, then we'll just do like a, you know, like a radio station podcast, like, you know, kind of like similar to the playlist that you got going on as well. Yes, sir. You know, just kind of do it like that as well. Mm -hmm. And feature it. So we're just gonna separate it now and just uh, make sure that each, like, you know, each people get they uh they voice uh heard like the guests can like you know talk and elaborate like on their thoughts uh more right. and the actual music can be heard and it's it's music like you know it's gonna be music you know what I mean yeah. so now that's dope man that's a that's a really yeah. good idea I feel like the playlists allow you to get you know busy in terms of getting creative with like song placement you know what I'm saying this one after right. that one and people can really right. feel the intention behind the order of songs you know what i'm saying and right. then having a, another episode or another segment more so which i'll talk in and elaborate more in detail one it'll help for the views on youtube but right. two i think it, i think it'll it'll naturally hit just being able to listen to a playlist all the way through you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then like click over and like listen to you know the segment with with the talking and everything so that's dope man yeah. good luck yeah. you know, obviously we're gonna be supporting appreciate and uh appreciate you know, sharing it. that content um exactly. and yeah man looking forward to that now what, what about you man like because you know you you recently got your podcast started you know with uh trav uh white yes, you sir. know let's talk traditions like how how's everything going and like you know like how's that how is that wow. yeah man it's uh it's going it's, it's pretty interesting dude uh yeah. we're we're kind of picking uh traditions based on kind of how the world's moving you know so we started mm -hmm. off i believe we did like let's talk food we did music uh let's talk walking um we did talking we did three episodes of secession and just kind of the passing down yeah. of power and like mentorship and the value yeah. in like you know people just sharing their information with like the next generation but also getting the hell out the way like you know what i'm saying and not you know kind of our uh our song you feel me right uh, so it's just like right, right, you know you. <laughs> but, but like 
in in the form of like what's going on today with like Trump not wanting to concede in the beginning and all the chaos that you know yeah. comes with that if like you know people in power don't want to give up power or like you know all of that shit so it's been an interesting way to kind of talk through those topics um mm-hmm. you know Trav is looking to launch uh some other stuff with like what he has going on so that podcast that we have going on is like a vehicle uh yeah. to him yeah. like yeah. getting on he's about to start launching Launch some shit on yeah. Twitch and like you know kind of hashing out uh what he's trying to do on a philosophical standpoint Right, right. Um, but uh, yeah, no. Besides the pod, uh, let's talk tradition. I've just been focusing on my Tuesday playlist, man. Just kind of getting better at uh, just like putting my beats in order. You know, what I'm saying I'm getting a better feel for like different instrumentals. You know, tracks that I mm-hmm. bypassed on or that I haven't listened to in months and months because I haven't had sessions. It's just letting me dig into my folders and folders of beats. You know, what I'm saying and kind of yeah. listening to what I have. I got ideas about things that I want to switch up or like change. Yeah. You know, kind of make better. Uh, so now, that's been do you, going well. Do you do that on, like uh, on the fly? Like, um, like, um, like, would you like change up a beat or like, you know, right, right during like, say you had a set like list of uh, beats you wanted to play, yeah. and like out of nowhere you was like, nah, I ain't really feeling that. Like, would you go ahead and just switch it up, or are you gonna like? Oh how, yeah, how do you do that. Do you I'll be honest with, with you. Too? Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Most of most of it is just like feeling. You know, what I'm saying I don't even have like a set list of the ones I want to play when I start. Like earlier yeah. in the day, I'll listen to some beats and I'm like, all right, I'll probably start with that one. And then yeah. I'll just kind of okay. be in the zone. Like, okay, that's I'm going to go with this one. You know, I'm going to go with this one. after. Yeah. And kind of just, just build it on whatever I'm feeling in that moment. I just kind of put the tracks. Um, but what I'm yeah. doing now uh, is that after I'm done. So I'll, in the past, I'll stream for maybe an hour, hour, 30 minutes of just beats. Uh, right now, I'm about to do, you know, last week for week 37, I did uh, or. I'm gonna have to edit it up because you know we'll be in the future. But um, I got you. <laughs> but anyways, for for one of the previous videos, basically I um I produced you know I did my DJ set for 40 minutes, but the last 20 minutes I made a beat on the spot. So I'm yeah. just trying to incorporate a little more of my process because like I'm not necessarily a DJ, you know what I'm saying? But I am, you know, I'm in the music and music production. So my playlist is more so to give people a vibe. But I'm also right. trying to transition myself into, you know, producing live, you know, just doing a lot more on Twitch as well, just like making beats mm-hmm. on the spot virtually and also just existing in that like virtual world when it comes to making myself available um, as a right. producer. You know, I kind of want to just display some of my ability. So I'm going to do partial like live, just like, you know, playing my beats, you know, so people can vibe out to hear it. But like I'm going to yeah. end on just like making something new, you know, what I'm saying just something fresh. Um, on the spot so i'm not gonna finish it because that's gonna take way too long but like for 20 minutes yeah. just cook something up and let people feel it you know what i'm saying and kind of leave them with that cliffhanger um and then you know if i get an artist that's like yo i need that you know what i'm saying like that's that's <laughs> one of my goals is like to get an artist like you know random artist that's just listening looking for beats you know what i'm saying it's just like damn i could vibe to something like that yo is this beat available yeah. like what's up like let's collab or let's work so Go, go, go. Uh, yeah. That's the interviewer in you, bro. Like, I'm supposed to be. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking up here. I'm talking here. <laughs> my but, uh, bad, my bad. No, I yeah, definitely yeah, appreciate but... you, man. I definitely appreciate yeah. you, uh, you know, jumping in uh, some of this love 2021 celebration, dude. Um, oh, definitely. You man. know, I'm looking forward to the rest of the performances and, you know, everything that the folks yeah. got going on. But, uh, yeah, man, any, any words you want to leave the folks with or anything like that? Man, hey, it's 2021, man. Like, leave all the BS behind, man. Like, all right. that, all everything you was holding on to that's really been weighing you down, man, just go ahead and leave that behind, man. Let's go ahead and move forward, man. It's all about progression and, yeah, like, the future, you know what I mean? So, right, right, keep, right. Uh, keep it moving, you know what I mean? So, yeah. For sure, that's real. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. No 